So what's up everybody? Today in this video we are going to see how we can build a simple calculator in C programming language. Okay, so without further ado, let's start our coding. Now let me tell you one thing. We are going to use here a switch case statement to build a calculator program. Okay, so let me first define some variables. Okay. Okay, so I have defined here two different data types. One is character and another is float. Okay, so this character is used to uh, determine which operation to perform. Okay, that can be either addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Okay, and I have defined norm1 and norm2 as a floating data type because the number can be in the decimal. Okay, not only a uh, number cannot be in integer only, it can also be in floating so uh, i have defined here the number as a floating number okay now so first let me take some input from the user Okay, now first of all, uh, we are taking the input for the character, okay, uh, and uh, this character we are storing in this variable cx, okay, so this can be either plus, minus, multiplication, or division, okay, and we have also take the input for the numbers, okay, please input the numbers, okay, we are going to take the number in one location, okay, can I have percentage uh, percentage f percentage f okay as you know for the floating point we use percentage f and for the integer we use percentage d so first for the first floating point we are going to store the value in num1 and for the second floating point we are going to store the value in the num2 okay so now we have taken the input and we have all the input and now we are going to use the switch case statement okay switch we are going to switch what we are going to switch this character okay because this character can either be plus minus uh, multiply or divide okay so switch this sorry this should be inside this parenthesis so switch character okay so switch have different cases okay so our first case can be plus okay uh, let me define another floating point that will be result okay and initialize to zero okay so uh, if user press the plus button, okay, then uh, we are going to store the result as what well. the result will be num1 plus num2, right? And we are going to break this statement because if the user press plus, then we are only going to perform this plus operation, okay? So the other case here can be minus, okay? So if the user is the minus then the result will be num1 minus num2 right and again we are going to break this okay the null case can be multiplier right okay so result there will be what num1 to num2 and we are going to break this okay and the put and the last case is divide right so result here will be num1 by num2 okay and we are going to break this again so and, and, uh, as you know in the switch case we have one default option the default option will be fired if uh, the user input the character other than these four characters right in this case, we are going to print the message to the user that is invalid option. Sorry, option. Okay, and we are again going to break this. Okay, so after performing this, at last, what we have to do? We have to print. Okay, so we are going only going to print the two decimal places up to two decimal places. Okay, so we are going to write a percentage dot two f. Okay, sorry, two f. The two dot 2f here represent that we are going to 
print the number up to only two decimal places okay so we are going to print the reason okay so that's it uh, let me try and run this okay i have got some error here okay i have missed here semicolon okay now let me again run this okay uh, let me first do the plus operation let me enter the number okay let me enter 10 and 20 okay see we have got the result as 30.00 okay so let me uh, here write some messages the result is okay so the result is our um, we can say is result result equals to okay so now let me perform the minus operation okay so minus operation let me 50 and 40 okay the result is 10 right 50 minus 40 is 10 okay now let me try for one or uh, invalid option okay let me uh, say uh, i enter here as instead of that four operations okay so what we did okay for, so let me first uh, bring the numbers here and let me say 12 and 34 so we get the invalid option is and the result zero right so we get the invalid option okay so this that's it okay so if you like this video please do like share and subscribe